Christy from ChristyCoroMetal.com and what we're going to do today is our watercolour blending technique and to do that you're going to need three ink colours preferably ones that are going to blend nicely together so I'm using our primary colours, I've got Mellow Mumbo, Crushed Curry and Pacific Point and to start with I'm going to be putting my Crushed Curry all over my craft mat that I have here now if you don't have a craft mat, a thick piece of plastic or a um, piece of acetate will work well. Then next I'm adding my Mellow Mumbo and you want to make sure that the piece here that you've got that will the ink that you're applying is actually going to be bigger than your project size itself. And then I'm going to add in some Pacific Point. And then I'm going to come in with my spritzer. This just has water in it and I'm just going to spritz that together. Okay, and then I've got my piece of um, watercolour paper and this piece here measures 14 by 9.5 centimetres and I'm just going to apply this directly on top of that pool of um, colour that we have just created and with my fingers I'm just running it back and forth to make sure that that um, colour does go on top of that cardstock there so you can see what that looks like. Now I'm just going to keep applying this until I'm happy with the outcome. Now if you don't like getting inky fingers you can always wear a pair of gloves as well. Okay and, and that's what we've got there so I'm just I'm happy with that how it is. Depends on how much more concentrated of a colour that you would like. So I'm going to set that side to dry and then we'll be back. So next I have a piece of basic black cardstock and this piece here measures 14 by 9.5 centimetres and a piece of whisper white cardstock that measures 13.5 by 9 centimetres. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my whisper white to my basic black um, but I'm going to add quite a bit of adhesive to it because we're going to be a die cutting part of this out. And I Okay, so we're going to center and stick that onto our basic black. So next one we do is I'm going to use my ruler and I'm just lining up the bottom what my white part to the bottom of my numbers on my ruler here. You can use your grid paper to line things up as well. And I'm going to place my year 2017. Make sure they're all nicely spaced evenly apart. And I'm going to hold that down using some washi tape. And then I'm going to run that through my Big Shot machine. And then we'll be back. So once you've cut that out of your Big Shot machine, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm just now going to pop out all my numbers and I'm going to keep this little section here from our zero. So pop them out so we can see what that looks like now that we've done that. So I've got with me Hello that comes from our Crazy About You stamp set and I've got some black memento ink and I'm just inking this up and we're going to stamp this in between my two and my zero up in the top there. So I have here our um, watercolour background that we have just created and we're going to stick this on top and to do that I'm going to be using some of our um, what are these? They're foam adhesive strips and I'm just going to go right across the ends here because I want all these raised across all four edges and also we need some in between our spaces right here as well. So the best thing about these is that it all comes off in one big long strip and then as you join them up you can then just use your scissors here to cut them. So I've gone ahead and I've finished putting all my adhesive on here and now I'm just going to gently place this on top of 
our watercolor piece. Now our watercolor piece is exactly the same size as our basic black card base Then I can gently push all of that that down there like that and then here's our middle part to our zero so I'm just then going to once again I've put some dimensional adhesive on the back and you can see what that looks like. So I have a piece of thick whisper white cardstock to create our card base and I've just put some fast fuse adhesive to it and then I'm gently going to stick this top part down leaving equal borders around all four sides and you can see what that looks like. So this we have this little cool watercolor effect coming through our letters where we've created our little background. Thank you for watching.